Minister, what does he propose to do in relation to the many thousands of young people under 25 who are unemployed, who are sitting at home, aimless and purposeless, uh, because essentially uh, there are not enough uh, further education uh, places or PLC courses available. And I want to cite my own area of Dublin 15 in particular, uh, where despite huge community efforts to get PLC places underway, the department appears to have an extremely negative attitude to the further development of PLC. It's the only opportunity for these people, uh, to young people, to actually get into education and then get a career and, and employment. Okay. Uh, thanks, Ken Portland. Thanks, Deputy, for the question. Further education and training sector provides a broad range of provision to meet the needs of over 300,000 learners. The PLC <coughs> programme is the largest of the full-time FET programmes, with up to 30,000 PLC places available annually. Each ETB determines how best to distribute and plan the programmes to meet the needs of their area. This year, 2,697 PLC places were allocated to Dublin Dunleary Education and Training Board, who are responsible for FET in Dublin 15. As part of a plan to establish PLC provision in this area, Dublin and Dunleary Education and Training Board have been working with two local community schools to start PLC courses in September 2019. Unfortunately, the lack of take-up for these courses has meant they were unable to commence as planned. The Education and Training Board will continue to work with my de department and the schools in Dublin 15 to support the establishment of PLC provision in 2020. Also this year, 2,438 PLC places were allocated to Louth Meath Education and Training Board, an increase of over 40%. This increased cap gives scope for further expansion in PLC enrolment in the, fu in the future, including for Dunboyne. Opportunity to progress to third level is a national priority for the government and my department. The review of the National Access Plan for Equity of Access to Higher Points, published in December 2018, acknowledges significant developments in implementation, including increased investment in new access initiatives. Minister, there is a really serious problem. Uh, we have, for instance, a building industry which can't build houses because it hasn't got enough skilled people to actually be involved in uh, the house building. We have a situation in relation to retrofitting, where, as uh, Professor Fitzgerald said this morning on RTE, and he said it at a public meeting uh, that I uh, sponsored a short while ago in Dublin 15, he said we don't have the skills to do the evaluations for householders of how they can spend their money wisely to retrofit their homes. So there really is a demand for this, uh, both in terms of personal development, the interest of people in taking up further education, uh, but in Dublin 15 in particular, and uh, in uh, the uh, Fingal area in general, there are no PLC places. Yes, there are PLC places in Dunleary, uh, but very few people in Dublin 15 or in the rest of Fingal can travel to Dunleary you, to access a PLC Minister. place. What do you Minister. propose to do? Minister. Uh, look, uh, look, I got a great insight into the benefits of PLC in, in Letterkenny a number of weeks ago and looking at the transition and the progression uh, people who uh, finish a PLC course after two years and they're going to do electronic engineering and the likes of TU Dublin, getting into access courses, getting into uh, first and second year to do degree courses in LYT Letterkenny. And I think the message, my message here is, uh, Deputy, is obviously we have to, there's a capacity issue, we have to provide the courses. Where well, the courses aren't being taken up, we have to ask questions why. But the big thing is, is in relation to the current Leaving Cert review, that the place at the heart of the Leaving Cert has apprenticeships, at the heart of the Leaving Cert has to be progression. Uh, that's not necessarily just about points and getting into uh, higher level or universities. This is about creating pathways and new pathways, and at the heart of that are PLCs. I really, really saw the value in them. I see the value in them, and this is something that we have to continue to work on. But if there's capacity issues in certain areas of Dublin 15, that's something that I look out and I'm, I'm happy to Deputy follow Dirt. up in that regard. Dirt. Well, say, Minister, that there are lots of young people, as we speak today, sitting at home, looking at the four walls in their house and not actually having any possibility of a career path 
both to qualification and to, one uh, to employment and to potentially setting up their own business. So the government in terms of young people is missing out on a great opportunity here by simply leaving significant areas of uh, the Dublin region without any PLC opportunity. Now, you know, you're talking now about the future and putting it out another four or five years. That's going to do nothing for the people who are sitting at home unemployed at the moment. The official unemployment figure is around 5%. If you go into an area of disadvantage, if you go into certain rural areas, the unemployment figure, particularly for a lot of younger people, is up around 9 to 11 percent, and it's even higher in areas of deep disadvantage. And without you, the PLC option, there is very little future for these people other than sitting at home. Minister. Just briefly, I just want to acknowledge my own colleague, Minister John Halligan, for his work in this area. We're, we're driving towards extra apprenticeships, extra, uh, uh, extra uh, opportunities, and even different IOTs and third level. They're looking at building uh, certain apprenticeships into their course offering as well. But I think, going back again to what we need to do in the now, not in four years' time, in the now, is to ensure that central uh, to our education system is pathways and progression and not points. And I think we still have to get away from that hang up that it's a race to an end game of points at the end of Leaving Cert. Our education has to embrace the fact that there's different outlets, different options, different opportunities for different people. We're all different, we're all equal, we're all different and we have to acknowledge that. But central to that is pathways, not points. And that's why apprenticeships have to be central to that conversation. Oh, yeah. Do you want to